Did you know that Vava has a video baby monitor now? We've been using it with our son for a few months and we love how simple and reliable it is. The first thing I noticed is that it's not a monitor that connects to an app on your phone. I tried a few monitors like that before and what's convenient about those is having the picture so accessible. But on the downside, it drained my phone battery really badly. With the Vava, you get a separate handheld device with a full color 720p IPS display and a large five inch screen. That's pretty big. For a reference, the average for a monitor screen is around 3.5 inches, which can make details much harder to see. We found the picture is pretty clear both day and night. In fact, it's what parents most rave about in reviews. Well, that and it's really easy to set up. In one, two, three, I was done. Seriously, I didn't even look at the instructions. The Vava is super user-friendly. You could choose a lot of different angles with the panoramic and close-up options. When I scan back and forth or up and down using the autopilot button, I'm able to see different parts of Jet's room. And with the one press zoom button, I can literally zoom in by four times to see him breathing. There are a lot of features to play around with too. I love using the two-way talk availability, which allows you to talk to your baby and they can talk back. And when Jet wakes up from naps, we found it handy for calming him if he wakes up startled. The Vava also has seven different volume levels, which at first I didn't think I would need, but I actually found it useful. For instance, if you're a heavy sleeper, volume seven will get your attention. But since we use a sound machine in Jet's nursery, it's nice to be able to drop the volume down a bit. A few other sweet perks are the noise indicator lights that flash so you know your baby is crying even when the screen is off, and the option to lower the display brightness, which is helpful if you like to sleep in the dark. Speaking of brightness, I gotta say, some monitors I've used previously shine really bright in dark rooms, which distracted my son, and it drove me crazy. <laughs> so I appreciate that Vava considered this in the design because it's not distracting at all. The light in the back is so faint, Jet doesn't even notice it. Okay, so back to the monitor display. With one glance, you could check the Wi-Fi signal, current room temperature, current time, and battery life so you never skip a beat. And when it comes to charging, you just plug the display screen in. The battery can last without charge between 10 to 24 hours, depending on the display that you use. So if you're using audio only, it will last 24 hours without charge. But if you keep the display on the whole time, it will last 10 hours. We use both audio and screen display, allowing the automated idle screen to kick in, which saves on battery life. Jet goes to bed at eight. So when we wake up in the morning, our Vava monitor still has life to it. The range is pretty good too for a wireless monitor, as long as you're within the 900 feet. Now, my house isn't that massive, but I traveled along our property and everywhere in my home, including the basement, and I've never had an issue with connection. I'll wrap this up with a standout feature if you have multiple children. The Vava is able to sync to up to three additional cameras and you can access each camera through the one monitor. I'm not there yet, but you might be. The feature is perfect if you're thinking about expanding your family in the near future. Overall, at around $159, the Vava Baby Monitor is easy to set up, easy to use, it gets the job done with a reliable battery life, range, and other fun features too. I hope this is helpful. Happy monitoring.